on campus in this dormitory. Some students will tell you he had the nickname of the pharmacist. I would say there were people on campus who knew he was drug dealer before the rest. In fact, a year ago, the school paper's parody edition picked up on this commercial involving young Zaccaro's mother. Diet Pepsi. And this was the Middlebury compost's response. Many Middlebury students believe that the police singled out Zaccaro. The only reason that he was even, that they even bothered to follow him and to catch whatever they caught was because he was for our son. It's just his name. They wanted to get him for his name. But the prosecutor says that's nonsense. John Zaccaro was not singled out because he's John Zaccaro. He, he was arrested uh, and arraigned in court because uh, there's probable cause to believe that he sold drugs to an undercover agent. The arrest would have been an unpleasant experience for the administration of Middlebury College, even if the arrested student had not been a member of a nationally known family. Under the circumstances, it was doubly unpleasant. Has it affected us? Yes. I think we're all upset about it on, on campus. Uh, you know, we feel for the family, uh, for, the, for the student uh, himself. Um, will, it, uh, will it affect the college? We certainly hope not. Middlebury has made it clear that Sicaro is likely to be expelled if convicted. And so the episode remains unresolved for John Zaccaro Jr. and Middlebury College. Stephen Gere, ABC News, Middlebury, Vermont.